Hello folks, welcome to another episode of Passing Clouds series of conversation. This is Paramjit Singh. So I have been off for the last couple of months, which means I have not recorded any video or uploaded a new video. I was caught up in other things, so taking care of other stuff. But uh, today is the first video of 2022, which I am going to record and upload for your consumption. So recently we were having a conversation in one of our lectures at McMaster and the lecture which I co-teach, um, a session which I co-teach with two of my uh, colleagues. And it was about monitoring and identifying your habits. And whenever we are talking about habits, uh, since we are still early part of 2022, um, habit change is always in our mind. And one of the things we, we invited students to think about is that whenever you think about changing your habit, you need to go back and ask a very basic question. Who you are as a person? Where does your habit come from? What purpose does it serve? And can you find a different habit would, would, which would serve the same equivalent purpose? Because unless we begin to ask those questions, we cannot necessarily arrive at a, at a solution which can be useful or which can be better than the one we really just quit uh, by changing the habit. So whenever we think about changing habits, we must ask this very basic question, what is that you are trying to achieve by changing this habit? And this reminds me of the old quotation from the great American author, the Henry David Thoreau, uh, which, in which he says that many men go fishing all their life without knowing it is not fish thereafter. So my question to you, my invitation to you folks is, so what are you after? What kind of fish you are looking for? And fishing here is a metaphor. It's not an activity. It's, it's something we keep on doing. A lot of people I see go fishing, not because they may be interested in the fishing itself, but sometimes it is the process of fishing itself, the, the calmness, the serenity of the context of the environment. So whenever you are trying to change something, it is necessary to ask, what is that you are trying to change? And what purpose is going to serve? Because if you do not ask this question, you will be running around in circles, and you may have end up you may end up changing one habit only to find out that it was not the habit which was the real reason for your discomfort. It was something else. And unless we find what is really uncomfortable to us, what makes us uncomfortable, we will be running around in circles. So in the context of changing habits and consolidating new ones or instituting new ones, let me invite you to ask this very basic question is that what is that you are trying to do? Are you trying to change a habit or are you trying to find something through that habit which is not now being fulfilled by the same habit and by changing the habit is not going to make much big difference unless you figure out the purpose of the habit you are trying to change. Because if you know what purpose this habit has been serving you, you will be most likely served a better deal once you figure that out. And then upon that clarity, you can begin to form a new habit. Now you would have hit the jackpot because now you know you're not simply changing the habit but the purpose of changing because change sometimes can bring us a short-term benefits. It can bring us a relief from stuckness. It can give you that experience of novelty, which means that you just feel good because it's something new. But if it is not beyond novelty, if it doesn't serve a basic deeper purpose, uh, you will be back to square one in no time. And then you will be spinning your wheels at the same place. So if you are still interested in changing your habits, I invite you to consider these following questions. What is who you are as a person? Ask that question, self-reflect on it non-judgmentally, and then ask, what is the habit you're trying to change? What does it serve a purpose? What kind of purpose it serves? What would you like to have alternative habit? What purpose that is going to serve? And if you can begin to have some clarity about those questions, you will most likely be end up in a right place because it will give you a right direction, right tools, and possibly right way to change your old habits. So on that note, 
if you are still interested in in figuring out your habits uh, try to ask these questions be honest with yourself be forthright don't try to beat about the bushes because at the end of the day if you cannot be honest with yourself behind your own closed eyes it will be incredibly difficult to to be honest with something else or somebody else because in order for to change you need to know what you need to change and in order to answer that question we have to be very honest with ourselves so that there's no beating about the bushes and there's no constructing convoluted stories we just have to be very direct that this is the reason why i need to change this habit anyhow this is a, this is my invitation to you if you are um, barking on that process if you want to identify your habits and unwholesome habit and institute new ones uh, try to figure out this way it may be helpful on that note uh, continue to stay curious and reasonably non judgmental that will help you actually clarify your thought process in the terms of habit and habit change if you find this conversation useful uh, please share with your friends and family and networks press the subscribe button press the bell icon so that every time we upload a new video you can get an automatic notification um that will be very much appreciated if you would like me to speak upon any particular topic please let me know and i will be happy to do my best thank you very much for stopping by thank you for standing with me i really appreciate your presence until next time bye for now please subscribe to the channel like and share thank you <laughs>